So Stephen Hawking uh, is famous because he, uh, so the idea of a black hole for people in the audience that may not necessarily you know, fully um, you know, uh, have come across what it is, the idea is you know, if, you know, if you throw something off the surface of the earth, you, know, you lob something up, eventually it comes back down. Right? But if you throw something fast enough, it'll, it'll escape off to, to infinity, um, like we do when we launch rockets. Um, a black hole is something that's so heavy that you'd have to throw something faster than the speed of light to get it to escape, and we know that we can't do that. So a black hole is an object for which nothing can escape. Now, Stephen Hawking uh, is famous because he realized um, straight out of grad school that at the event horizon, so you imagine that you know, there's, there's a locus in space where if you're on this side, you have to go faster than the speed of light to escape the gravitational pull of the black hole, so you get sucked back in. But if you're on this side, it's slightly less. And what he, what he, what he uh, proposed was, well, what he realized was that you know, because the vacuum constantly is creating particles and antiparticles out of nowhere that disappear again, uh, there's this constant you know, uh, sea of creation and destruction that, well, if exactly at the event horizon, you know, let's say a positron and anti uh, an electron get created, one of them's going to get sucked in, and one of them shoots off. And that's known as Hawking radiation. So black holes ain't so black, in his words, right? They, they actually radiate. And uh, the, so, so what happens in, so maybe this is taking too long, I'll, I'll wrap it up very quickly, is that a black hole is the most perfect, simple object in nature. Its only ingredients are geometry. So you imagine, you know, we all fell into a black hole. You know, we all have dreams and hopes and information in our brains. Eventually, it just turned into this thing that radiates thermal radiation of maximal entropy. So where did that information go? In physics, you don't like that. Physics must somehow always keep into account. Information is somehow always this quantity that's conserved. And so Stephen Hawking argued that somehow, somehow uh, there must be something very wrong with quantum mechanics uh, in order for, for this to, to be happening. But now people actually realize that, well, we just don't understand quantum gravity. And once we do, all that information will come out of us in some way. That's... That's, and I think now Stephen Hawking even lost a bet where he agrees that he thinks that, you know, that that's probably how, how it will go. I don't, I don't remember the second part of you. Oh, how would Bill's, ex okay, so if, if, you were, um, if you were hurtling, you know, how to sound, well, if there was mat material fluid at the edge of a black hole, um, you know, sound would just get incredibly Doppler shifted and it wouldn't propagate out. If, I mean, you have to have material fluid, you know, emanating out of the black hole. Uh, nothing can travel faster than the speed of light. Um, there are theories where uh, there are materials where acoustic excitations can travel fast in speed light, but we've never seen it. Right? They exist in theory, but you know, they, they unless you have something like that, um, what will happen is you know it just gets more and more deeper and deeper and deeper, and then just that's it. You'll just you'll just constantly hear this like drone that's inaudible. If you really want to imagine what that sounds like, <laughs> so.